Hey guys, we're going to be looking at um, level 1 maths algebra paper from 2013, day 2. This is question 3C1 and 3C2. Now the question was um, this right here, 1 over f equals 1 over u plus 1 over v, and we had to write an expression for f in terms of u and v. The second part was write an expression for v in terms of u and f. Alright, so doing the first part here, um, what I'm going to do is I've got 1 over f equals 1 over u plus 1 over v. So we're, when we have a, a fraction, I guess, actually, before I started, in this, the most common mistake people do is they, they have heard that you can actually flip um, fractions upside down. Um, and the first thing they do in this question is they actually write down f is equal to u plus v. <clears throat> if you're one of those pe person right there, then uh, you've made a grave mistake. Now that only works if it's one exact fraction equals an exact fraction. So what you need to do is the right hand side, you need to combine it together. So between u and v, you know that the common factor is uv. So the first thing you're going to do is multiply u by, well, the de denominator by v and the numerator by v. And then for 1 over v, we multiply both the denominator and numerator by u and u. All right, I'm going to write this f in a nice blue color here. So then what I can say is 1 over f equals v divided by uv plus u divided by uv. Which means, since the denominators are the same, I can put them together. So 1 over f would equal v plus u divided by uv. See, now I've got a fraction equals a fraction, which means I can just um, flip them upside down. So in other words, on the left-hand side, I can write this as f divided by 1. But because it's divided by 1, I don't really need it because f divided by 1 is just f. And then on the right-hand side, if I flip this, I'm going to get uv divided by v plus u. So this is the first part of the question um, so when they ask you for f in terms of u and v. Now I'm going to have a look at um, the second part. Now the second part, they're actually asking for expression for v. So since u and v is actually on the right-hand side, what I could do is I could move 1 over u to the left-hand side and make it a minus. So in other words, it'll look like this. So I've got 1 over f on the left-hand side of the equal sign. But since I'm moving 1 over u from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, it'll become minus 1 over u and this equals 1 over v. So basically, guys, what we did in the first part of this question, we have to do it again. So we need f u at the bottom as a common denominator. So we're going to have 1 over f and 1 over u. So with 1 over f, we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by u. But when we have 1 over u, we need to multiply the denominator and numerator by f. And this is equal to 1 over v. So, putting these together, we're going to get u over fu minus f over fu equals 1 over v. Now, since the denominators are the same, we can bring them together, and we're going to get u minus f divided by fu equals 1 over v. So, once again, the moment we have a fraction and it a fraction equals a, fact, a fraction, we can flip things over. So we're going to get f u divided by u minus f equals v divided by 1. But once again, because it's divided by 1, I don't really need to write it. So our final answer would be v equals f u divided by u minus f. All right, guys, and that's how you do this question. Thank you for watching.